Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and uh, in today's session, I'll be covering uh, what are the breaking changes in Elasticsearch version 7.0. So I'll be covering some of the changes which uh, which has been like, uh, you know, some of the drastic change, uh, the feature which has been added in the in this new version of Elasticsearch that is 7.0. So uh, you, as you can see on the screen we have, I have included only 5 changes but there are not only 5, there are many changes which, which I have, which I am not covering in this session but I will show you, I uh, will surely send you, uh, you know, I will give the link in the description box. You can go ahead and check the link and you can check out the, how there are a hell lot of changes uh, in which has been, you know, there are a lot of features which has been added in version 7.00. So let's check this out. What are the major changes in Elasticsearch version 7.0? Now the Elasticsearch underscore type has been removed. Yes guys, the underscore type has been removed from the Elasticsearch. If you have remembered that uh, while creating an index, we used to write after mapping there is a type. But now we don't have to mention the underscore type or whatever the type uh, name in the Elasticsearch. So basically if you are uh, familiar with the, uh, the term underscore type which is very much equal, equal to the database table. So before in the, my previous session or session 1 or 2 I have compared the RDBMS with the Elasticsearch and as I said that like in the RDBMS we have a database, we have a table and the rows and column. Similarly in the index the database is, is equal to the uh, index and uh, the table is equal to the underscore type. So the table which is called underscore type in Elasticsearch has been removed. So why it has been removed and what are the benefit of this I will be covering shortly. Now just check out the second, third, fourth, third, what uh, the Elasticsearch SQL. Now uh, it has been said like in previous version, it was uh, in doubt that Elasticsearch SQL, it might get removed in future version or it may come. So guys, uh, this new feature has been added in version 7.0, which is really a great feature. Now we cannot be like, we don't have to depend on the other system for the SQL query because the Elasticsearch is itself, uh, you know, we can write the SQL query and uh, run the SQL query on Elasticsearch in uh, Elasticsearch itself. So there is no use of other system. I'll cover this uh, separately in different session. The Elasticsearch SQL, the point number two. In this session, I'll be only covering the point number one. Now let's check out the other three points. Life, uh, index life cycle management. This is the brand new feature which has been introduced uh, in version 7.0. So the name itself, it's saying like, index life cycle management means there is a there is going to be the life cycle of an index so what we'll have in this uh, life cycle index we'll be writing some policies of the index like after how many uh, you know uh, data it should uh, it should keep like uh, like 50 gigabyte of data it should store and what is the lifetime of the index after 90 days it should get deleted automatically like we are more of a kind of it we are automating the things we uh, this this is going to be in this index lifecycle management i'll be taking a separate session on this this is such a you know great feature which has been introduced in Elasticsearch. Now come to the fourth point. Point number four is saying standard token filter has been removed. Yes guys, if, even uh, while I was talking about the tokenizer token filter in my session, uh, which I'll give the link in the description box which where I have covered the token filter. I'll give you the link. Now there, there only I told you that we usually do not use the standard token because there is no use of this and I have explained you over there you can go ahead and watch so uh, that time also it was not required so they have removed it it's not a uh, like it doesn't matter so better they have removed it now the next five point number five is nquam and hquam token filter cannot be used on new uh, sorry cannot be used on new index now what is uh, if they have not removed the ngram and hgram they have simply replaced 
uh, the, both the name by and gram h gram now you have to do you don't have to write h capital n capital g gram no you don't have to write like this now you have to follow this uh, you have to write everything in the small letter so like this way these are small things which has been changed and there are many a lot of things which have been uh, you know uh, changed in version 7.0 the link is there in the description box you can go ahead and check like which I'm not including over here because these are very small small thing which has been changed simply I'll give you one example like in the while creating an index uh, it should start with start with a small letter and we cannot give uh, you know before that we used to give colon right now we cannot give colon colon means this we used to give in the index also but now we cannot give so there are many things which has been changed and which has been modified in uh, version 7.0 now let's come to the point number one elastic search underscore pipe has been removed now what if I'm in my project I've been using uh, the version 6 or prior to the version 7.0 so what will I do with my underscore type so they have given us some solutions uh, which I'll show you uh, before so uh, before showing that uh, let's check out the version 7.0 here I'm running the version 7.0 you can check this out uh, where is that yeah this is uh, this version is 7.0 I'm running and see in the 7.0 what are we mentioning we are not mentioning this is a typeless the index is typeless if I try to run okay let's delete this okay now try to run it's running fine okay now what I have added what they have said they have by default set the number of shards to be one and also they have removed it the type thing the underscore type thing so that's why it's running fine now here run try to run this with with underscore dog we used to run like this way right delete this index and try to run and it will so it will show the warning like this okay now I in my system I already have a version 6.7 and I'll show you on that version uh, how the things has been changed and what what if I want to use underscore type in my 6.7 or prior to 7 version how will I manage to use underscore type how will I manage those uh, things so I'll show you that they, because they have given you they have given uh, the solution for that as well now as you can see I'm running the version 6.7 and I'll show you how we can create index with type and what we have to now take care of because in the next in the coming version 7 we do not have type so they have said like they have given us a, one solution which i'll show you just remove this before we do not use to write like this we do not used to even mention this number of shards right we used to simply give the type name and we used to run the index, uh, create the index. Now simply create that. Now in the version prior to 7, if you try to create an index, it will throw these two warning. Now what are these two warning? The first warning is saying like, the default number of shards will be changed from 5 to 1 in version 7. Means by default the shard will be 1 in version 7. If you wish to continue using the, sh using the default shard 5, you must manage this in, uh, in while creating the index. Means what you have to do, you have to give here the number of shards while creating the index because by default from the version uh, 7 it will be 1 you can give here on the basis of your requirement the number of shards guys hope you are familiar with how to create an index what are shards and everything because in the previous session like in my first two three session i have covered everything what is shards and all that stuff i'll give you the link in the description box so don't worry 
Now they have said this which I have added. Now the next part they are saying they are they it will create an index but with a uh, warning. But I don't want the warning. Okay. So the next part they are saying like include type name will be by default false. So if you want to use type, you have to mention like this. Include type name is equal to true. Because I am giving the underscore type. So here you have to mention it to true. Because it is by default what? It is by default false. Now if you try to create an index, it will definitely create an index without any warning. So this is how you need to proceed in the version prior to 7.01 while creating an index. Hope I have made you clear. Uh, in the version 7.0, you have to go like this. No need to write include type name. So you have to simply, no need to write underscore type. You have to simply mention the number of shards. That's all in the version 7. In version prior to 7, you have to write like this way. You need to give this one if you want to give the underscore type. Now come to the point why this things has been changed. Now the major question why underscore type has been removed. Now uh, they thought like this was a bad analogy that leads to incorrect assumption. Now what is that incorrect assumption? Guys, in the previous session, uh, in one of my sessions, I have explained you uh, by comparing the RDBMS with Elasticsearch. So, just uh, I'm referring to the SQL database, right? And try to understand with that only. In the SQL database, tables are independent of each other, correct? The column in one table, suppose there is one column in one table and the name of the column is same as the name of the column in different table means two table having the same name same column name will that impact anything will that impact your queries no it the two table will be running independently so but this is not the case for the field in the mapping type that's that's why the assumption the thought of by, by creating the underscore type it was it came out to be incorrect now what we used to do like uh, suppose there is a username, username is in the type underscore type user also, username is also in the uh, underscore type tweet. So if in both the type we have the con common field username, the how the loosen will take, it will map the map both the field in both the type in the same way. Like the definition of both the types will be same. So but that's that word I don't want, right? But the Lucene will assume it in the uh, it will uh, take both the field in different type in the same way. It should it will consider uh, consider that in the same way. So that is the incorrect assumption. So they have come out across this point. Now the second point, what it's saying, like the storing different entities that uh, that have few or no field in common in the same index leads to sparse data now what is sparse data we we are storing uh, you know many fields many different fields which are common and which are not common so what it will lead to sparse data now the what is sparse data sparse data means suppose you have uh, an array that contain uh, like mostly zero values mostly zero values so that is called the sparse data so i am uh, wasting my memories and what it is doing, it is uh, it is it is impacting the loose in ability to compress document efficiently. So it is in interfering with loose in ability to compress document efficiently. Also, it is leading to the sparse data because of these two disadvantage they remove the underscore type. Now the benefit of this approach, the benefit of this approach is just opposite to these two point. Just read it out data is more likely to be dense here the data was more likely to be sparse i have explained sparse data here the data is more likely to be dense dense means it will contain mostly non zero value before it used to contain the zero value and wasting the memory and it leads to 
uh, it, it used to impact the compression technique but here it will not uh, impact the compression technique it will compress easily so the point I hope it is clear now the second the term statistic used for scoring the uh, in full text search are more likely to be accurate now think if I am I have no type I have only index I am creating independent index for each type because I have removed the type so for a user I'll be one I'll be having one index for Twitter I'll be having one another index means multiple index every index are independent of each other so whatever query I'm performing the full text search it will be definitely accurate and the scoring will also be accurate so that's the true benefit of this approach so guys hope I have made it clear if not you can post your question in the comment section also there are many things which has been changed in Elasticsearch version 7 I'll give you the, this link in the description box you can go ahead and check it out so thank you for watching